Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Aether Revolt Draft here on Seems Good Magic. My name is Sam. I'm your host today. Thank you for hanging out. Um, it's a little late since I had the hoodie on. Take the hoodie off. Take the headphones off. Just ready to go. Uh, Disallow is not going to be the pick. We really like a Renegade Rallyer and a Prey Upon. Um, I think it's Chandra's Revolution, though. I think this is one of the better commons. Uh, maybe the best red common, uh, if not, you know, just the best red common. So I'm going to go ahead and grab it here. Pretty excited about that uh if you want more of me and i hope you do uh just go check out my youtube channel samuel rubin link to that is going to be in the description below as always so check me out over there thank you so much um similar common run with these two comms in it uh rare missing skyship plunderer or scrounging mandar i think plunderer is a little better but plunderer is best in green blue Ugh, plunderer is pretty good but so is Bandar. I think I'm just going to take Plunder here. Such high upside. All right, Swoop or Racer. I'm going to take Racer over Swooper here. No green cards that pack. Ooh, Rogue Refiner, Bastion Inventor. Jeez. Um, we could just take Bastion Inventor and try to be Red Blue Artifacts. Take Rogue Refiner. Rogue Refiner is so powerful. I'm just going to take Bastion Inventor, though. All right, so we got a little nice uh, blue-red artifact strategy deck going. Uh, this isn't the best in blue-red, so maybe this wasn't the pick. It might have been Scrounging Manor, to be honest. Not entirely sure. All right, uh, this pack is pretty terrible for us. Uh, we're nowhere near Implement. We are nowhere near Foundry Hornet. Nowhere near Dispo I mean, this pack's just bad for everybody. I guess I just take an Iron Tread Crusher. It's playable. It's playable in an artifact. It fits all the criteria, so we're pretty happy with that. Um, if you wonder why, hey Sam, this is usually the week of the format in which you do a stipulation draft. Where is my stipulation draft? Well, I had to pre-record a lot of these uh, because I am in Europe currently, so um, there will be stipulation drafts. I promise, I promise, I promise there will be plenty of Modern Masters drafts as well. Uh, but these at least had to be uh, pre-recorded a little bit so I could, you know, actually spend some time seeing the country. Um, I'm going to take an Audacious Infiltrator here. I think it's a better than Restoration Specialist. Just the fact that it's a 3-1 and gets by everything is like better than a 2-1. So I'm going to go ahead and take it here. Uh, not exactly thrilled with how this draft is working out so far, but, you know, I have some good options. I'm never playing these three colors, like, just straight up, right, because uh, I have aggressive cards in each color. It's going to be really hard to cast all of them unless I was to get 18 maps. But it's an option. Anyway, so uh, thank you as always for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, I would appreciate it if you smashed that like button and uh, dropped a comment in the comment section down below. You can say anything. You can say, hey, Sam, what's up? You can say, I drafted a cool deck at FNM. You can say, I don't know. You can say whatever you want to say, to be honest. But uh, I will try and respond on my trusty old cell phone, uh, even though I won't have complete 100% access to Wi-Fi while I am in uh, other countries not named the US of A. So, uh, we get a Welder Automaton here, very good in the red decks, uh, it's very good in Boros, and it's very good in Blue-Red, so I'm just going to grab it here. Uh, kind of happy I took the Skyship Plunderer now, because green does not seem to be open in this direction, so if I had taken a Scrounging Bandar, that kind of would have went to waste, and even though Skyship Plunderer isn't at its best here, right, uh, it still can be good. Um, there can still be energy it can produce, and things like that. I'm going to take a Hinge Land Drake here, really don't like Word of Invention in uh, this draft format, so... I'm going to go ahead and take this. We're going to get this Audacious Infiltrator to the side, and we're going to look at what we got here. Looking good. So what we're looking for, uh, we want red implements. I think those are like a really crucial part of the strategy. Um, I want Sweatworks Brawlers, Aether Chasers, Aether Swoopers. That's what I want. Uh, being able to go Aether Super, Aether Chaser into turn three Sweatworks Brawler is, just, I mean, really just blows the game open. Uh, you're you're guaranteed to get in for five or six on the following turn almost always. And, uh, yeah, I mean, on top of that, it just opens the door for Bastion Inventors and, and things like that to come down later. I will say that I think the 5-5 five five in black with uh, Improvise is a bit better, even though it's one more mana, um, than the Bastion Inventor. But uh, we're still happy to play the Bastion Inventor, so we can't really complain that much. Not going to take Alley Invasion. Uh, probably not going to take Leave Wind Dust. Just take Augmenting Automaton. There's a chance that we're, like, blue-black or black-red. I just don't love leaving the dust that much. 
All right, another Hinterland Drake, a Destructive Tampering, I think is actually the way to go here. We have five creatures after pack one, which is pretty mediocre. Um, we could take one of these hoping to get a Trophy Mage, but we'll have other three drop artifacts to get if we get a Trophy Mage. And I think Destructive Tampering is really, really main deckable in this format right now. Um, I'm not saying it's always main deckable, and I'm not saying it's never main deckable. I think it's very, very main deckable right now. But anyways, uh, I mean, of course, if everybody's playing like super heavy aggro decks, it's probably not good. But... Uh, you know, it, this format, like most draft formats, is diverse. There's control strategies and mid-range strategies and aggro strategies and artifact-based strategies, and it's pretty good against a lot of those, right? So, we are in a decent spot here. Um, I think I'm actually going to take the Nightmark Guard, just because it's something to throw in the mix if we do grab a Trophy Mage. So, uh, not unhappy putting this in the board. Efficient construction isn't something I look to play. It's just a four drop that doesn't really impact the board for a few turns. And uh, even if you play this on four and then play two artifacts on five, paying four mana for two Thopters isn't necessarily even what you want to do, right? So, oh yeah, baby. Woo, we did it. We uh, have a Sweatworks Brawler as well, of course. We're, we're, you know, we would just love this pack. Renegade Map, Sweatworks Brawler, Chandra's Revolution, Destructive Tampering, Reverse Engineer. Bunch of cards we want. Hopefully we'll get something back, but... uh. Foil Aether Tide Whale, this card is bonkers. You almost you almost never lose when you play it. I mean, it plays defense super well. It plays offense incredibly well. Um, if you're able to not bounce it the first turn you play it, it starts playing offense and defense, um, right? Because you can attack, bounce, play it almost like Vigilance, and then uh, you still have the mana to keep bouncing on your opponent's turn. So it plays offense, defense incredibly well. Uh, it has a big enough, uh, it has like enough toughness that it doesn't, you know, it doesn't get killed instantly by things like Shock, Chandra's Pyro Helix, Hungry Flames, Welding Sparks, necessarily, um, you know, a bunch of that stuff. Uh, it also obviously dodges all the removal that, you know, would normally kill it. Aether Chaser, Trophy Mage, this is just a dream pack. I really do like Trophy Mage, but I think Aether Chaser is pretty important in these decks, and I think I'm going to take it here. It's good with Skyship Plunder, it's a fantastic 2-drop, it's great with Bastion Inventor, it's better with Sweatworks Brawlers than Trophy Mage. And also, uh, we don't really have anything for Trophy Mage to get right now, although I do, do really like a Trophy Mage, but I think I'm leaning towards more towards Aether Chaser here. Ugh, that could just be wrong. I could just be wrong. Hinterland Drake, implement another Chandra's Revolution. Pretty happy to pick this one up. Would really like an Aether Super and a Sweatworks Brawler. No, Aether Super, Aether Super, Sweatworks Brawler. That's what I want. Bastion Inventor. I'm pretty okay with this too. Uh, I don't think I'm going to take the Shielded Aether Thief here. I think it's fine in these decks, but it's not at its best. I'm okay with the Bastion Inventor. Again, Sweatworks Brawler is really what makes this deck come together, but... Uh, Bastion Inventors are okay as well. Uh, the 5 mana Improvised guys that are a uh, red and a blue, the multicolored guys, are insane as well. World of Virtuos is insane, but it's pretty hard to get them because they're so good. We're definitely not getting one this late, but uh, we could get a late Sweatworks Brawler, which would be sick. We could get a late uh, Aether Super, which would be sick. We're probably 20th pick, so uh, 5 picks into this pack. We're probably not getting an Aether Chaser um, or another Bomb Rare. But we could definitely get a Sweatworks Brawler or an Aether Swooper or a Welder Automaton, uh, something like that in the mix. Ice Over, Implement of Examination, a second Heroic Intervention, a second Efficient Construction. We don't really need either of these. I don't know how good Ambrel Gear Smasher is in this deck. I might just take it though, it's the most playable card. Yeah. We just don't even really have the artifact theme going. I mean, no red implements. So, you know, no red implements, no Swartworks Brawlers. We do have two Bastion Inventors that we're going to be able to cast a turn or two early, but that's not always good enough, you know? This seems very mediocre. This deck isn't super explosive. The Bastion Inventors are good, but not great. I do have an Iron Trade Crusher, which kind of makes this deck a little bit better. Yeah, I mean, this deck's fine, don't get me wrong. I'm just not super pumped about it. I guess I probably should be more pumped, but not super pumped. This is also the highest my rating has ever been, but this is the most magic I've ever been playing. So I've seen a few people like question my rating. Uh, my rating is, in fact, at um, 1820 right now in that range. So I've been playing Aether Revolt pretty well, although I've been playing terribly in Sealed. Um, all right, not going to take that card. I'm just going to take this Precise Strike, I think. Uh, or do I just take a Mythic Rare? I'm not playing Precise Strike, so I'm just going to take a Mythic Rare. 
All right, Mythic Rune inside. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, man. No way that needs to happen. Jeez. I had uh, I had written that one off. All right, can I get a Sweatworks Brawler? Can I get another Maverick Doctorist? Ugh. They're so good. How is this card not? This card is so good. First, do they understand that it costs three mana? Second, do they understand that it makes three creatures? <laughs> Maybe? No? A watchful Automaton Invigorated Rampage. I think Watchful Automaton is going to be the pick here. Um, not happy about not having another two drop. Not happy about not getting a single red implement either. Kind of annoyed about that. All right, reverse engineer it is. Uh, don't love this card. I don't think Ravenous Intruder is better though. I'm probably not playing reverse engineer, but uh, if pack three goes insanely well in the artifacts department, I guess I could be convinced. But not a hundred percent to play it. We are a bit ahead on uh, playables at this point, so that's kind of why I'm okay speculating. <sighs> Frontline Rebel, Dispersal Technician, Taken in Custody. I guess I'll take a Taken in Custody. Ooh, Implement of Examination or a Foundry Assembler. Foundry Assembler is interesting only because we get a Self Assembler, then it works. I'm gonna think I'm going to take it. Uh, no need for an Implement when we don't have any uh, Trophy Images. I mean, look, if we get a Self Assembler, I might just have to play all the Assemblers. We need a Self Assembler and another, like, decent artifact making to drop, I think. Also, this is where Skyship Plunderer is really mediocre, right? Like, I guess it's making energy sometimes, but it's not putting counters on anything. Yeah, very mediocre. I kind of wish I took the Scrounging Pandora. I think it's a better magic card, but, you know, it does some work. Oh, baby. I mean, I love me a Glintness Crane. I love me a Chief of the Foundry, but Glintness Crane isn't at its best in this deck, right? I only have three artifacts right now. Chief of the Foundry is good with Aether Chaser, Maverick Thopterist. Ugh. But this is also good with Skyship Plunderer. I could also take a Prophetic Prism, but I don't think I'm doing that. I think I'm just taking Whirler Virtuoso, so I don't think I can pass a card this good. Metallurgic Summonings? Don't tempt me. I mean, what do I have for this? I have two Chandra Revolutions and a Destructive Tampering. Yeah, I just can't do it. Unless it's a million dollars. I'm going to check, obviously. But I do not think it's a million dollars. I don't even know how to spell metallurgic. No, it is zero dollars. All right, just gonna take a well fast monitor here then. Uh, it's an artifact and a three drop, so uh, you know it checks off a lot of the boxes. Oh man, confiscation too. Was excited to take a self assembler. Was excited to take a glass blowers puzzle knot, but taking another bomb rare. So pretty hyped about that. All right, self assembler. Oh, aether torch renegade. Uh, this works well with confiscation coup and whirler virtuoso. Like, all of a sudden, we're a little bit in an energy shell. We could also just take a self-assembler to play with our foundry assemblers, but I don't know if we have enough artifacts to make that plan really tick. Really hum, I should say. So I'm just going to take an Aether Torch Renegade here. So clogged on threes. Definitely not enough twos. Need to pick up a two this pack. Even if it's just like a Prophetic Prism, just or a Glassblower's Puzzle Knot, just like another two drop would be huge here. We have the late game covered, right? We have Aether Tide Will, Confiscation Coup. I would really like Glass Blower's Puzzle Knot, I think. It really would really tie the deck together well. Consulate Skygate. It doesn't really do it, but it will do it enough. Uh, could take a Select for Inspection? I guess Consulate Skygate is fine. It taps for mana. Right? What does this do? Basically just taps for mana. Is Select for Inspection better than something that just taps for mana? Doesn't really do anything else, right? I mean, I have kind of an aggressive deck. I guess I don't really want Select for Inspection. Well, whatever. I really don't want to have to play that in my aggressive deck. Ugh, I'm going to have to play it, aren't I? How is that my, like, sixth pick in this pack? Oh, Narnam Cobra. Excellent. I am all about a vanilla 2-1. I could take a Thriving Turtle here, but I think the fact that this is an artifact matters enough in this deck. It's actually worth it. Um, same thing with Metal Spinner's Puzzle Knot, maybe, but I don't think so. Could take a Shrew Negotiations. Now they have one, two... I have a lot of things to give to people in return for their great things. Oh my god, Aether Trade Winds just has to be insane with Maverick Thopterist, Whirler Virtuoso, Aether Torch Renegade. Yeah, this card's pretty good. 
Oh, do car P foul. Kaigoker's puzzle knot is also okay here, right? I have one, two, three things that really make it matter. Um I could just take a Ducar P foul though. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Alright, this deck's come together. Would prefer one more two drop. I'll take a prophetic prism here. I don't mind. Uh I don't think I'm playing Consul Skygate here. If I have to play one card, I'm probably playing like reverse engineer or night market guard. Uh gosh. Yeah, no way to give Nardam Cobra Death Touch just a 2-mana two 2-1, two but it does enough. Bastion Inventor, Maverick Thopterist, ugh, definitely does enough. Emerald Gear Smasher, Un or fortunately, I shouldn't say unfortunately, fortunately does enough. We're super clogged on threes, though. I wish, like, all these were twos. I wish that's what our curve looked like. Looked like... Wood Weaver's Puzzle Knot is not the right Puzzle Knot. We want Glass Blower's Puzzle Knot. Nimble Innovator into the sideboard. Oh no. Rare. Glass Blower's Puzzle Knot. How do we not get a single Glass Blower's Puzzle Knot? We saw one. How do we only see one in our Kaladesh pack? I know it's a big set and that we're statistically likely to only see like one, but come on, I'm complaining over here, kid. Let's get one. Oh, let's get a Mythic Rare in the pet in his house. The Dawkin Blade Master, not good enough to make this deck, but Metallurgic Summoning is also not good enough to make this deck, so it's going to go in the sideboard. This was money for a while. We got two Mythic Rares in this draft. How good are we? Oh my god, and a Foil Rare? Jeez. And a Mythic Uncommon? Jeez. Wish we had gotten the Era of Innovation. Going off with Era of Innovation, uh, Whirler Virtuoso, is maybe the greatest feeling known to man. And also probably just the greatest feeling known to man. Oh, wow. We got paid off here. Era of Innovation to Whirler Virtuoso is the greatest. Could also go Glitness Cray. Now that we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So this looks at four cards out of 40. Um, so we're looking at 10% of our deck. Yeah, I think I'm just going to take an Era of Innovation here. All right. Self-Assembler came back. That's just kind of funny, because if we played Self-Assembler, that would actually make Glitness Crane better, but whatever. Alright, um... Ooh, I have too many Confiscation Goods now. Or too many, uh, yeah. Too many Bastion Inventors. Alright, um... Ugh, too many Bastion Inventors. Why does it keep giving me extra Bastion Inventors? I don't want extra Bastion Inventors. All right, calm down. What if I do this one first? No! <laughs> All right, struggling with magic online today. This is 23. I think with so many 5 and 6 drops, we just play 17 lands. We have, like, Reckless Racer to fix. We have Watchful Automaton to fix. Pretty happy with this. We could play some assembly package, but I'm not super happy about it. We could play a Reverse Engineer, but I'm not super happy about it. I think we just got to run this. What do we have? So we can make a bunch of energy. Whirler Virtuoso is an artificer. This is an artificer. It's a human pirate, but it works well with Air of Innovation. Artificer. Artificer, artificer. Yeah, I mean, we have enough stuff to work with Air of Innovation. And if we ever go off with it and Whirler Virtuoso, we just win the game automatically. So thank you everybody so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you liked this video and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you for round number one.